welcome back. Our next spot takes us south of Uvalde for an event where the best pilots around compete in a battle of skill and speed as they soar through the hill country sky. So if you're thinking to yourself, this doesn't look like your average recreational aircraft, because it isn't. This aircraft right behind me is called a glider, and as you can see, the most obvious difference has got to be this honking huge wingspan. But the biggest difference of them all has got to be right up front. Y'all, there is no engine in here. What? Now, I'm no pilot, so to help fill in the gaps, I met up with assistant city manager Joe and glider contestant Conrad. One thing they're really known for here in our airport, in our area in general, is the thermals. These guys work uh, by the thermals. That's the only thing that powers their gliders. Yeah. So worldwide, we're known for great thermals in our area. So that basically started back in the 70s and it's grown every year. Uvalde's been fortunate to host two world championships. And basically that's what's done it. And we're known worldwide for the thermals, the competition, hospitality. So again, welcome. A glider is a very efficient aircraft. It's extremely aerodynamic uh, and it does not have a motor. So the glider is towed aloft by a tow plane, typically a, a general aviation aircraft that has a good power to weight ratio, tows the glider up to 2,000 feet and then uh, from there they're, they're let loose to fly for another six hours without a drop of gas. Competition is for speed and distance. It's happening. Y'all, this is blowing my mind and I cannot wait to see this all right in front of my eyes. Ah, I'm so excited. Let's do this. And just because they are way up there and we happen to be on solid ground doesn't mean the fun has to stop. In addition to hosting the soaring competition, the Flight Center is also home to the Aviation Museum, an incredible collection of Second World War memorabilia. This is how they used to teach back in the day. Instead of going into the planes, they used these, gave you like classroom lesson, and then you went up into the plane. So I definitely need a lesson because I know nothing <laughs> besides watching from down below. And let me say, I'm really good at that. <laughs> so as you know, World War II produced some of the most famous aircrafts of all time, which brings us to Huff Air where they keep the collection of war birds. But y'all, this isn't just a collection of pieces. These aircrafts and airplanes are fully functional and flyable. Uvalde in the 1940s, when, right before the war started and into the war, they built this airport just to train the pilots. The weather here is so good. Yeah. It's great for the soaring, and it's also great to train pilots. We keep them flying all year long. That just keeps them flying, 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 and they can put them back in, put them into the war as fast as possible. I mean, I've seen it in movies, but it's still just so, you know, just kind of mind blowing and impressive just to hear about it and to see it in person. And to see it, yeah, it's like, a big airplane. This is massive, airplane. it's massive. It and is it a be, massive airplane. Oh my goodness gracious. And after a long day riding the winds, not to mention traveling over 300 miles of Texas skies, it was time for the competitors to finally make their way home. With an event like this, you cannot help but appreciate what's right in front of you, which brings us to our next event with Ariel. Our next stop takes us to downtown Uvalde, the meeting point of two of the longest highways in the entire country. And once a month, it's also the meeting place for small business owners, musicians, artists, and folks from all over for Foursquare Friday. Around this time, things are usually shutting down, but everything's actually getting amped up because it's Foursquare Friday. It's an event that transforms what would be a normal Friday quiet night into a bustling crowd with the community all here in Uvalde. And as we made our way around, we bumped into the perfect person to give us a little background on Foursquare Fridays and downtown Uvalde. The name Foursquare came from the fact that Uvalde is built around four plaza squares. And so we're actually standing on one of the plaza squares. Okay. So this was the market plaza back in the late 1800s. So if you can imagine, this would all have been dirt and everybody would have parked their wagons here <laughs> while they went out and shopped downtown. Basically Foursquare is a modernized version of the 1800s. Yes. Okay. We want to celebrate downtowns. We want to celebrate all the history. We want to let people who don't always come downtown have a chance to really come down and enjoy all the beautiful architecture, the fantastic stores. Mom and pop shops have something completely unique for everyone. So we want to celebrate that spirit. 
Up next, it was time to partake in one of my favorite activities. That's right, y'all. It was time to shop. Take a look at the llamas and the Christmas stuff. Two of my favorite things in one shelf. From candle shops to lifestyle stores, Uvalde is guaranteed to have something for everyone. Uvalde, y'all have some amazing shopping. Built in 1891, the Uvalde Opera House is one of the oldest operating theaters in the entire country and has been home to some of Texas's first motion pictures, countless stage productions, and just maybe a ghost or two. So apparently there's a little girl on the stairs um, who likes to run up and down, but she doesn't bother me, so as <laughs> long as you know we're good, she can stay. I mean, there's probably a few people hanging around, but we all get along, so I don't think they're, they've got bad intentions. 